Oh. Welcome to my channel. I want to talk about sat the satanic things that go on in Hollywood. But before I do that, I have to thank each and every one of you that comes to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos, for liking them, for sharing them, for commenting on them. And especially thank you to everyone that has subscribed to my channel. I continue to be amazed by the growth of the channel and I just keep adding more and more subscribers every day and it's just amazing to me. But I wanted you to see this video because I think this young girl, who has been involved in Hollywood for some time now, is revealing things that you need to know about. Because in this dark world we're in, I've noticed a pattern in what is being represented. China McLean. People think that this stuff mm -hmm. is just a game. There is a reason why you see people dressed up as Satan. Not just, you know, like Satan slipping himself in a little bit. No, mm. full on visuals of Satan, people dressed as Satan, you know, dressed as a demon, got upside down crosses all mm. on their clothes or pentagrams on their clothes. And people are just like, oh, that's and funny. It's, you I... know, we're making fun. No, there's a, there's a reason why the entertainment industry is doing that, y'all. They know huh. good and doggone well that God exists. They also know that Satan exists. They're just counting on the fact that y'all don't know that. Hmm. But either way. <clears throat> and that's exactly how Satan works is <clears throat> he, he uh, gets you to mock the idea that he exists. Because if he can do that, then he can have whatever way he wants to have with you. I've talked about this before. But I'll mention it again. There's a book that you should read if you're interested in this subject. It's called The Challenge and Counterfeit by Raphael Gasson. I'm assuming you can get it on Amazon. If not, it should be in your libraries. It's the story of a man who was deeply involved in the occult and decided to get out and what he had to deal with to get rid of the devilish influences in his life. And it was, it was a, 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 an epic battle. It really was. The things that you take in, that they're feeding you, those things affect you. Whether you realize it in the moment or not, they affect you. That's why they do it. Entertainment industry, it's about influence. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to sacrifice the honesty in order to be politically correct. Well, good for her. Yep, I agree. Good for her. At least she's willing to be honest and to tell the truth about what's going on. And you know, it's interesting that um, you'll he hear people argue that uh, things like entertainment can't influence people to, to act in certain ways. And yet, if entertainment had no impact on us, if it had no influence on us at all, we wouldn't have entertainment. The whole point of entertainment is to influence your views on things and to get you to think differently about things. And a big goal <clears throat> of some of the biggest people in Hollywood is to get you to not believe in God. Uh, there's a movie that came out when I was, oh gosh, let's see, I was in the Navy, so I would have been 24 or 25 years old called Exodus. Uh, excuse me, not Exodus. Exorcist, the Exorcist. Um, a lot of people thought that was just a good horror movie. But when I watched it, I understood what I was seeing was actual devil possession. That that can really happen. And if you don't believe it can, then, then you're subject to whatever the devil wants to do with you. I often say that uh, it's like being in a pigsty when you get in a pigsty and i've been in them before when i was a young man uh, you can't get that smell off of you no matter how hard you try 
it's, it's the same way with devilish, devilish influences. You may think you can just slough them off and they'll go away, but that's not true. They will linger and they will influence your decisions and your thinking and they'll influence the way that you see life. I want to play a little more of this because there's something else interesting. in China McLean. I don't know anything she's been in, um, but that's great that she would actually stand up and speak out. Who does that? She was a Disney cast a long time ago, back in the 90s and oh, 2000s. Yeah. So huh. she's, this is something that she has done. She's done it before? Yeah. yeah. Where like she stood up, and which is why she no longer has a job. Oh, yeah. Probably. So. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Good for her, though. Yeah, good, good for, for her. her. That's, that's really awesome. Good for her. Yeah. Um, so we, I, I, we're going to get that video pulled. I just sent it. Uh, I, I think I might, might have been emailed it to myself. You ever done that? Uh-huh. Time or two. <laughs> so, um, but uh, speaking of Arizona, uh, uh, did you see that uh, Zudi Jasser? He's running for Congress out there. I did not see that. How cool is that? Yeah, that's very cool. So, uh, hmm. Blaze guy running for I hope that mm. happens. Good yeah. luck to Zudi. Uh yeah, absolutely. What part of is he in Phoenix? Uh, I don't know. All right. Let's see. He's running somewhere. So vote for him if you're in the area and he's in your district. Congressional District 4, Arizona. Okay. You should be excited if you're in Congressional District District 4. Oh, we got the video now for Arizona? Thank okay. you, sir. Okay, cool. Let's see. Members, uh, I would like to introduce a group of Arizonans, uh, some from my district, but they have membership all across the state. They are here today to confront the arbitrary, <laughs> tyrannical authority of religious persecution Listen that's scheduled for government committee later on today. Uh, today, uh, members, uh, I want to introduce you to members. We, we are graced with the presence of ministers and members of the Satanic Temple of Arizona. Please stand today. Uh, they're at the Capitol today Gosh. to fight for the rights of their more than 12,000 members of their de denomination and the rights of free speech yeah. and free exercise of yeah. all Arizonans. Wow. Uh, the temple practices non-theistic Satanism, divorced from superstition, without any belief in gods or devils. They practice... <laughs> okay. As always, I'll put the link in the description. But the, the question almost begs itself. If you don't believe in Satan, why did you name your church after him? See, this is the kind of thing that Satanists do. They try to convince you that they don't exist. But, you know, I just want to make you aware of this stuff. I can't change your opinion about it. I can't influence you in any way. But if you're aware of it, maybe you'll start thinking about it. Maybe you'll do a little research on your own and maybe you'll find out that it is a little bit more of a problem than you might have thought it was. So that was the reason for bringing that up. And I want to thank you again for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. And I pray for you every day. I pray that you'll be abundant, that you'll live a long life and that you'll be healthy and that God will keep you safe from harm. And I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I also pray that you'll be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you'll make your request known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet, out.